Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio, so today we need to be checking in with some products that have, well, some have been revealed, but we didn't know enough. And some we've been waiting for but hadn't been revealed. So let's start off with the holiday calendar, which is going to be coming out very, very soon. I'm a fan of the holiday calendar. I've made absolutely no secret about this fact. And we now know what the promos are. We've now got a proper look at the content of the holiday calendar. And it's gone and shown us all eight of the promos. Now, we knew we were going to be getting Ice QEX. That was previously shown off. That's not a particularly big surprise. But it turns out there's two other EXs that we're going to be getting, including Chen Pao EX, which is actually kind of a big deal. Kind of. You see, Chen Pao is legit. Like, I know right now, it's not the number one deck in the format. It ebbs and flows as these things tend to do. But Chen Pao by Excalibur is a legit deck that has seen a lot of play, a lot of success, and it's always kind of there. No, it's not the best deck around at the moment, but it has been right up there and it may well be again. So getting a lovely stamped version, and remember you do get little holiday stamps on these cards, getting a stamped version of that in here is incredibly cool. And it is incredibly cool. Here's the problem. Well, when we got Chen Pao, we also got the full art version of Chen Pao. And we got the gold version of Chen Pao. And we got the special illustration rare version of Chen Pao, which is clearly the best of them. And it does kind of feel a little bit like if this was some kind of promotional EX... And we'd never gotten any other fancy version of it. Then the stamp version would be really cool. And it would be borderline essential for people that wanted to have the best version of these cards in their deck. But we do have all the other fancy versions of it. So I'm not saying it wouldn't be cool to have all of the Chen Pao in your deck actually be this. I think that would be kind of a fun way to do it. But I do think it's fair to say that it's it's not maybe as essential as it could have been under other circumstances. Still a very cool card. Still probably the highlight of them in terms of a playability standpoint. But it could have been a bit cooler. What else we've got going on here? We've got Pikachu, which actually came out in the same set in Paldea Evolved. We've had a couple of Pikachu EX at this stage. This is the one that came around in Paldea Revolved, and it's a cool card. Doesn't see a huge amount of play, but it's the one that free energy 220, and if flip a coin, if tails discard all energy from this Pokemon. But if heads, you get to keep the energy. Cool little card, and getting a Pikachu is quite nice. We always get a Pikachu. You'll notice all the other cards, all the other promos here. We're getting ice type Pokemon. This is the one exception. Not a great playable card, but a cool card. Now, we do get an Ice Q here, which is technically a fire Pokemon because it's a Terra type. But Ice Q is very much a, a ice Pokemon, let's be honest here. And this is just a Terra version of it. It's the one that originally came around in Obsidian Flames. I didn't get to reveal one of these, which is very cool. And I like it. The fact that it's free water energy and it does 160, but it's a fire type that attacks for water energy and it stops the defending Pokemon attacking, which could be good. I've always kind of liked this as a cheeky tech, ironically, in Chen Pao decks. So getting this here as well is pretty cool. They're your free EXs. They're very nice. We do then get a few other cards coming in here as well. Like, for instance, Iron Bundle. But not the good Iron Bundle. The Iron Bundle that came around in Twilight Masquerade. The very new Iron Bundle. There is a good Iron Bundle. It's not this one. Sorry about that. Now, I love the artwork. But two energy, 60, and you switch. And if you switch, your opponent switches as well. It, it's not a particularly great card. It's not really seeing any play here. Like I say, there is a very good Iron Bundle that does see a bunch of play right now. Unfortunately, it is not this Iron Bundle, and I'm sorry. 
We've also got ourselves a Snorunt here. Yeah, we're going for the basic, not the evolution. And the Snorunt here is the one that came around in Paradox Rift. It's kind of fun that it does 40 damage specifically to a fighting Pokemon. That That's quite nice. Because Ice and Ground and all of that. But, yeah. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't think this is particularly good. Ironically, was in the same set as the good Iron Bundle. So we could have gone for that set, but we didn't. And this is important, right? Because if we get cool versions, stamped versions of playable cards, people might actually use them. We've got a Frigibax to go with the whole Batscalibur thing I mentioned a minute ago. And, yeah... It's, it's the Frigibax, not actually the best one. The best one's from Panay and Fates. But this is the one from Panay Evolved. It's got phenomenal artwork by Akira Igawa, so I do like that. And it's nice that we get a cool version of it. It's not the one that people are really playing right now, but it's got phenomenal artwork, and it's stamped, and that's quite nice. We've also got ourselves a Satoddle here. We are going hard on the ice theming. Specifically, we are talking about the Satoddle that came around in Powder Revolve, lots of these cards are Powder Revolve cards, and yeah, it's all right. It it it's a doddle. It's got 90 HP, and there are two different ones of 100 HP, so nobody's playing it. But that's not the point. And then finally, we've got ourselves a Vanillux. This is specifically the Vanillux that came around in Paradox Rift. It says that Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon with 40 HP or less, can't attack. I really like this, and it's probably too awkward, and it's probably never going to work, and I understand all of this, but it's a really fun card, and I want it to work, so I'm crossing my fingers, and I'm hoping that it does. Elsewhere, we do actually have a couple of coins featuring Sadono and Chen Pao, and I love the Chen Pao coin, and then we got some booster packs, fun packs, a Chen Pao dangler I showed you previously, and some stickers. There is a 100% chance I'm going to buy this. Because it's awesome. Love it. But there is one other thing which has gone and been revealed that we do need to have a little bit of a chat about. And these are the check lane blisters that are coming around in Surging Sparks. The one product which I hadn't previously been able to show you. And now I can. And I'm delighted. Now remember these are blisters where you get yourself one booster pack. A coin. Looks like a Fue Coco coin which I'm loving. And a full evolution line. And I've told you a bunch of times, I'm going to tell you again. The deal with these generally is, if you want it as a sealed product, that's awesome. If you really want that evolution line in a hurry, yes. But generally you can find them cheaper elsewhere. And other than that, maybe don't bother. Unless they've got a different holo pattern. Now sometimes... These check lane blisters do come around with a different holo pattern. And that makes them absolutely worth picking up. Because they essentially become exclusive promos. Look out for that. Otherwise, I think they're a skip. But if they've got exclusive foil pattern, that kind of changes everything. So look out for that one. That one's kind of awesome. What do we got here? Well, we got a Chandelure. The one from Twilight Masquerade. I really like this one but it's a stage two and that does kind of hurt it it's got an ability that says once during your turn you can have both players draw a card you get an extra card and your opponent also gets an extra card but you've then got an attack that does 30 damage for each card in your opponent's hand so if they've got enough cards in hand this can do huge damage for a single energy while you've got an ability that lets you do more damage and draw a card. I'm not saying it's a broken card that's going to take the meta game by storm because it came out in Twilight Masquerade and it's not taking the meta game by storm, but I am saying it's very interesting. The other one we've got here is the Alakazam from Twilight Masquerade and this is another one which is interesting but not great. Single energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused, and you may move any number of damage counters from your opponent's Pokemon to their other Pokemon in any way you like. So the hope here is that you can just stick a confused Pokemon in the active, but never KO it because you're just moving damage off of it constantly. And then we've got a second attack here, which does 10 damage plus 50 for each energy attached to your opponent's active. So if they attach a bunch of energy, you punish them for it. Great idea, like the idea, 
But again, we, we've had this for a while now. Well, we've had it for a couple of months. And it's not proven to be particularly good. So, a man can dream. But I don't think it's unfortunately going to end up working. Sorry about that. I still think these check lane blisters are very much, if there is a different hollow pattern, go for it. Otherwise, might be worth leaving it. So there we go. That's what you need to know. The holiday calendar has now been revealed in terms of all of the promos. We know what the chat name blisters are for Surging Sparks. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this stuff in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on a channel like the lovely Chelsea Rose, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.